Welcome to another edition of Vicarious Travels. Uh, Harper Concert Hall is the jewel in the cube crown for Reykjavik in Iceland. Uh, it is a magnificent and beautiful uh, architecture. It's a national concert hall where, th where they host all the important shows and uh, musics. Um, it's, it's a beautiful and wonderful art architecture. It's built to reflect the volcanic landscape of um, Iceland. Iceland has got volcanoes everywhere, and um, so the, this this architecture is built to reflect the uh, volcanic rocks of Iceland. So naturally, Icelanders are very proud of uh, this concert hall, and that shows in the the flags flying outside the outside the building. Uh, it is truly a magnificent building, and uh, uh, it's, it's 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 beautiful. It's elegant and it's magnificent, and yet everything comes together to portray the concept of uh, of volcano, uh, which is the um, which is the background of Iceland, which is the story of Iceland, and uh, the architect has succeeded. In, in bringing all those features together uh, and create a um, uh, aesthetic, really pleasing and uh, beautiful, elegant uh, structure. Iceland is full of volcanoes and in, in the recent past uh, it, it had violent eruptions everywhere in Iceland. When the molten lava, when it cools down, uh, it cools down um, in an hexagonal shaped rocks which you can see here if you look closer at the rocks and at the background you can all see they're all in columns and they're all shaped in hexagonal shape um, and so these architectures are built to reflect these rocks and uh, the shape uh, of the hexagonal shape it repeats itself in, in their design the famous church of Reykjavik, All Grims Krikia, is also um, uh, is an another attempt to portray the volcanic la rocks and landscapes of Iceland um, in a different way. But the principle is the same. This is to portray the uh, hexagonal shape of the um, volcanic basalt rocks when they when they cool. And, um, and then that this hexagonal shape keeps repeating itself in, in, in every area. These are some more street views uh, as I started walking towards the Harper Concert Hall uh, from the old harbor. came across this old abandoned uh, Saab, an antique car now. Uh, Saab itself has uh, gone out of business um, about five, five years ago. They used to make uh, these quirky um, cars, but you know, the cars are designed for high end of the market. And um, I took some photographs, and as I was taking the photographs, this, this lovely and pleasant uh, lady with a beautiful smile turned up. Uh, and started uh, speaking to me and she said um, um, God, she, this car has been abandoned for a number of perhaps uh, months now and uh, and she is an Icelander and um, she uh, um, does uh, jewelry she makes her own jewelry for, for, for sales and then she said she lives in the van just parked next to the car and you can see uh, the lady and the van background 
Uh, she's quite mobile, so she moves around uh, to different markets. And um, yeah, uh, it was a lovely to meet somebody locally in her country. Finally, after about uh, 10 minutes walk from the old harbor, uh, I made it into an half an hour really. Um, so I arrived to this uh, beautiful building. You can see how lovely it is to look at. Uh, it's lots of glass and enormous steel structures all put together uh, to portray the hexagonal shapes of the volcanic rocks. And you can see the hexagonal shapes here, which repeats itself. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful sight to behold, really. First, I went to see this show, How to Become an Icelander in 60 Minutes. Uh, it's a, it's a stand-up comedian show. He explained about, in a funny way, how the Icelanders go about their daily lives, uh, the way they talk, the, the way they walk, and the story they tell and everything. Then he certifies you by the end of one hour that you have become an Icelander. Now, I have, after seeing this show, um, uh, after becoming an Icelander, then I went to the next show. Now, having become officially an Icelander, I went to the next stage of learning about the Icelandic sagas in this show. And these two magnificent actors uh, put up a beautiful and funny show explaining about all the uh, Icelandic sagas. The sagas are mainly um, um, uh, moral stories and fictional stories and historical stories. Apparently they have thousands of them. So this is a show trying to uh, make sense of all the sagas and what to look for, what not to look for. And it, it's, it's beautifully enacted. And it's one, I mean, it's a, it's, it's one hour well spent watching, watching this uh, show. <laughs> okay, so we have actually another outlaw saga about blood brothers. Yes, and all the watches is called the saga of the blood brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and you two to mix blood like this. As you can see here, um, they also encourage the audience to take part in it. Uh, now you can see three of the our audiences are uh, are, are acting as well. Uh, it's it's it was very lovely to watch and enjoyable really.
Mr. Olafur Eliasson uh, is, the, is the chief designer and the architect and uh, Harpa seemed to be his, his brine child and um, um, his main um, aim uh, states in the website Eliasson deploys light, color and natural phenomena to test how physical movement, sensual engagement and the interaction of body and the brain influence our perception of our surroundings. Uh, he seemed to be um, experimenting with the perception of our, our brain about our surroundings and in, in that he definitely succeeded in creating a uh, wonderful, uh, spacious and sumptuous uh, architecture where um, this, the atmosphere and the space interacts together to provide a very comfortable experience um, when you come out of the um, the show uh, during during intermissions and it instantly relaxes you and then you can go back to the next part of the show after having been fully relaxed of being inside this huge spacious atrium. Had a lovely day, watched some beautiful shows, enjoyed the visit to the harbour and uh, when I came out of in the evening uh, the sky was beautiful. It was got this uh, wonderful reddish hue with the golden background and uh, when you see a red sky in Iceland it is a tourist delight because next day morning uh, it's going to be clear sky uh, and a clear day with no rains.